guys, it is Brigitte Lumford, and I just wanted to share a few thoughts that I had from this book that I'm reading this morning. It's called The 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth by John C. Maxwell. And there's a chapter in here about the law of curiosity. And he talks about how growth is stimulated by asking why. And there's this quote at the very beginning that I really liked. He says, some men see things as they are and ask why, and others dream things that never were and ask why not. And I think that that's a very important question that you need to ask yourself as a beach body coach. Why not? You know, why not me? And when you see successful coaches, you need to have that belief that you can do that too, that you can be just as successful. And there's this other quote that was really good that says, we cannot perform outwardly in a way that is in consistent with how we think inward. You cannot be what you believe you aren't, but here's the good news. You can change your thinking as a result and as a result, change your life. So, you know, I was thinking about this and how asking questions as a Beachbody coach, there's kind of three different levels, but at the very, very beginning, you have to ask, why not me? And kind of create that belief that you can do this and look at these top coaches and know that you can be just as successful as these, as these coaches. And as you do so, you have to develop your why. Now, that's that first level, is developing your why, asking yourself, why am I doing this? Why am I a coach? Why does this matter so much to me? Why do I even care? What is it about Beachbody that attracts me to it? Um, you know, why am I doing this? And if you're in my new coach boot camp, you'll know that we spend the first five days all about, the first five assignments are all about developing your why and finding out why this means so much to you. And this is important for a number of reasons. One, you are your own business owner here and there has to be that deep underlying, uh, you know, motivation to do this. And you, you don't have someone checking up on you. You don't have someone uh, following up and asking you, you know, you got to check in today, you got to do your work. And so you really have to have that underlying self motivation. And so you have to ask yourself, why am I doing this? Why does it matter? And, you know, for you to say, well, I just want to help people. Okay, well, why? Why do you care? Well, I care because, you know, it makes me feel good. Okay, well, why, do you, why does it make you feel good? You know, what is it about helping people that makes you feel good? Oh, well, it's this and that, and like, okay, well, why Beachbody? Why does Beachbody have to be the avenue for you to do that? Um, I mean, so just really having that question and answer in your own mind, really, um, so that you can dig deep and find that deep emotional reason that, I mean, when you think about it, it gives you goosebumps. and you cry because it means so much to you and if you share that with other people you share that with your friends and your family and you lead with that on Facebook and on your blog and make that obvious to everybody who like follows you that they know exactly why you are so passionate about Beachbody and why you're so passionate about being a coach and it's obvious and so whether they agree with you or not or they want to join your business or not it doesn't matter because they respect you and they admire what you're doing because they know that this means a lot to you so I mean that's what you get um, I feel that I have that with my friends and family who aren't doing Beachbody but I feel that they respect what I'm doing because I feel that I've led with why you know I've talked about it so much on Facebook that it's obvious and um, you know and this goes along with your spouse too if you have a spouse who's not supportive of Beachbody I can almost guarantee that you have not sat down with them and told them why this means so much to you I mean you have got to be open and honest and I mean it starts with developing it first you know so you know why you're doing this but then sharing it with them so they know that this isn't just you being brainwashed by some company falling victim to an MLM. This isn't you like, you know, just a passing phase. You know, this isn't just the latest uh, 
obsession, you know, that you're going to be quitting this in six months, like, before you have that support and uh, respect from your own spouse, you have to be open with them and share with them, like, why this means so much to you. So, you know, that's that first level of asking questions if you're going to be successful in this business. Now, the second level of questions is asking, why are these other coaches successful? What are they doing? You know, why do people follow them? Um, what is it about their Facebook page that is so successful? Um, why is their Instagram account so popular? So really analyzing things. So we've got a document in our page about you know the, a list of top coaches for you to follow. And I want you to go through that, add them on Facebook, add them on Instagram, follow their blogs, follow them on Twitter, you know whatever their social media is that they use to build their business and kind of analyze what they're doing. So, you know, if you look at like Scotty Hobbs and you're like, okay, well, why is he so successful? And he's building this on Facebook. What is he doing? Well, um, you know, he asks a lot of questions. So he gets people who talk back to him. So that increases his affinity on Facebook. So his posts show up more. He interacts with them in the comments. He does a lot of random posts so they get shared a lot. I don't know if I just said that. Um, he is very, uh, you know, paints that picture of, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, just about being a stay-at-home dad. You know, I think that's even in his job description. So, I mean, of course that appeals to a lot of people who want to be a stay-at-home parent. Um, and he posts those photos of him, like, going camping and, and hanging out with his kids and being in the hot tub with them in the middle of the day and all the guys are watching, looking at that on there lunch break at work and thinking, I want to be in a hot tub right now. <laughs> so, um, you know, analyzing that. Um, what is Lindsay Matway doing to be so successful? Well, she tells stories. Uh, she's really good at sharing her dreams and goals. And so she probably attracts a lot of driven people. Um, she does a really good job at um, uh, sharing her story. So people know why she's a coach. She leads with her why. Um, you know, things like that. So you're just analyzing that. Now, you know, find out what they're doing and copy that. I mean, I mean for yourself. You know, find out, okay, well this coach is successful because, um, you know, they post a lot of recipes. I mean, just whatever it is, make that work for you. Um, third level, and this is kind of a step up from that, is to analyze how you can make it better. So, you know, look at these top coaches, look at me and be like, okay, what is Brigitte doing to be successful? And what could she be doing better? You know, where is she lacking? Because I'll tell you, there's plenty of things I'm still trying to figure out and I'm still working on and I am not being complacent. I'll tell you my challenge groups, I am continually working to improve my challenge groups so that I can be a better coach. You know, I'm continually reading books and going to trainings and doing whatever it takes so I can be a better leader. You know, so I don't have it all figured out. So you've got to look at what I'm doing and say, this is where she's slacking. This is where she doesn't have it figured out. And this is what I can be better at. Um, look at coaches, uh, all of the top coaches, because nobody's perfect and you can improve on what they are doing. Um, and kind of be like, well, I really like what this coach is doing, and I like what this coach is doing, and I'm going to kind of make that my own here and improve on it. So I've always said you don't have to reinvent the wheel, and you don't, but you can improve on that wheel. So, you know, we had the first wheel ever created was out of rock, you know, but we don't put stone rocks on our cars, you know, we've improved on the design and we've improved over the years and it gets better and better so I mean that's what you have to do if we never work to improve we would still be living in caves you know and we have to continually ask those questions on how can this be better when you have a failure um, quote unquote failure because they're not really failures because you need to grow from them and you learn from them and then it's beneficial for you so when you have a coach quit, be like, what did I do wrong? What did I, well, I mean, that's kind of a bad question in a way, but not really. I mean, what can you do differently? 
um, well maybe I didn't spend enough time developing the relationship. Maybe I forced them to be a coach before they were ready. Maybe I didn't help that person enough with their transformation. Um, maybe I was nagging them, you know, and they felt like they had a boss. Um, maybe I didn't give them enough attention. Maybe I didn't encourage them. I mean, analyze things so you can know where to improve, so you can continually work to improve. Um, challenge groups. I mean, what can you do differently? Like, okay, how can I help these challengers? Uh, you know, I do questionnaires at the end of my challenge groups and I'm asking them, okay, what would you like to see more of? You know, what did you like? What didn't you like? Um, what did you expect from me? Um, did I fulfill your expectations? So doing things like that will help you know what you can do to improve. And, you know, I've got my challenge groups, but I'm each one is a little different because I'm continually working to tweak things. So um, the beauty of that too, that you should kind of recognize is that this allows you to be a better coach than your coach and thereby make more money. Um, this isn't one of those uh, structures where you can't out earn the people above you. I mean, if you look at Lindsay Matway, she's only been doing this uh, three years and she's earning more money than some people have been doing this five, six years. Um, because it doesn't matter. You don't have to be a founding coach. Um, and I'll tell you, Scotty Hobbs is going to out, out earn her because I know he's followed this example of continually asking questions and he looks at her and he says, okay, well, what can I learn from her? And what can I do differently? What can I do better uh, from Lindsay Matway? So I'm going to out earn Lindsay Matway. I'm going to out earn Scotty Hobbs because I'm doing the same thing and you can out earn, out earn me because I, you guys are all going to be better coaches because you're going to look at what I'm doing and you're going to say, this was good, this is bad, this is how I can improve. So you have that potential here. Um, and I think that's about it. So I mean, just asking at the beginning, uh, why am I a coach? You know, why am I doing this? Why does it matter so much to me? What is it about each buddy that pulls me in? Um, you know, just focusing on your why really 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 developing that because that will carry you the entire career then you ask why is this coach successful what are they doing that works how can I apply that in my life in my business um, and make it work for me then you ask how can I improve what I'm doing how can I improve what all of these other coaches are doing and you know what you know how can I make it the best of both you know coaches and Morph it into what? So if you continually ask questions, if you are continually curious and grow, then you are, I mean, there's nothing holding you back. You will be beyond successful if you can ask questions and learn to ask the right questions so that you are always learning, you always are growing and advancing. So just a few thoughts with you guys. I hope this helps a little bit and let me know what you guys think. Thanks.